Education was being brought under government control and the limitations on the teaching of religion seemed to the religionists to threaten spiritual welfare to be, literally, godless. It is in this environment that Tennyson Woods and Mary MacKillop launched their order. I found things here in a deplorable way. There were Catholic schools, but mostly kept by persons whose incompetency you would scarcely credit. Mary saw in the country that there was no hope of education for the poor children especially. And when she met him, he had the same concern. And they dreamed of having a congregation of sisters that would be able to go wherever the need was and that they would teach the children and also meet any other needs that they saw. With Julian Tennyson Woods, the dream that Mary had was able to come to life. In Mary MacKillop, he found the person he needed. And in his vision, she found her purpose. I must tell you that from an early childhood, as far back as I can remember, God gave me such a sense of his watchful presence that I would feel myself reproved for my smallest faults. I find myself as his true spouse, invited to desire only what his heart desires. In 1866, Mary, aged 24, set aside her secular garb, donned simple habit that Tennyson Woods had designed and co-founded the Josephite Order. My dear Mama, if I've pained you by my long silence, I'm truly sorry for it, and can only hope that in your love you will forgive what I could hardly help. When I parted from you, I could hardly hope that I could soon be given the happiness of making my profession, which I did. The Josephites were created to work amongst the poor, at that time, the purpose of educating the poor was not to lift them out of poverty, which was their station in life, but to make them less ignorant whilst still accepting of their lot. Most importantly, it was to address the evil of secular education that Woods referred to in his letter to the bishop. In 